Greetings and welcome back to Instrumental Inspiration, where we take the dry and dusty and uh, mundane principles <laughs> and strategies of success and we uh, make it interesting by infusing some music into it so it's a lot easier to recall and a lot easier to remember. All right, today we're going to be looking at Gary V, the serial entrepreneur and coach and mentor. We're going to be looking at his five core values of business, Gary V's five core values of business. Let's get cracking. The Big Cigar. Here's the first core value of business according to Gary V. And number one is stop trying to convert customers. Now what does he mean by that? Because it's all about converting leads. I think what he means is that that shouldn't be the primary principle. Okay, You should rather be taking time to reach more people. It's about seeking out that ideal client and not wasting time with the clients that would be disinterested in your products or services. It's engaging those that are intrigued. So point number one, stop just trying to convert your customers. Let's put that down as some sound. Okay, the first core business value by Gary Vaynerchuk. Stop trying to convert your customer. They can tell the difference. So we've got number one, stop trying to convert customers. Nobody wants a needy salesman. Number two, as bad as being pushy is, being too tentative is just as bad. So don't hesitate with making the sale. Now in order to do that, you have to have a product that you're confident with and that provides value. Gary Vee says, ask what must be done in order to make this happen. Ask the question, what needs to be done in order to make this happen? So let's record number two. Don't hesitate in making the sale. Let's move on to number three. Right, the third core value of business according to Gary Vee is make valuable content online, which is how you get that ideal client. That's how you engage and keep that the ideal client intrigued. So get creative with your social media. So it's not just about consuming content all the time, it's about creating it too. So number three, make valuable content online. Let's symbolize that with an instrument. The third core value of business by Gary B. Make valuable content online. Right, number three now. And cut. Let's get to number four. The fourth core value is work harder and faster. I think what Gary B is talking about here is working smart. Um, he talks about drop the habits that rob you of your time. You don't want time bankruptcy. Okay, so that's your TV. Those are all of those things that that are that aren't part of your higher inspired values. It's getting away from all the distractions, all that stuff that wastes your time. Gary V says the best approach to this is to see it like training. So basically, every day that goes by, you do a little bit more and you do it a little bit better. So each time there is these increments of improvement, like you would be training. So let's put down core value number four. Let's move on to number five. The fifth core value, Gary B says, give, but with the expectation of a return. So it's okay to give, but 
you'll be giving with the expectation of a return. So it's still about providing big value. And it could be building relationships. We are social creatures. That return could be referrals. It could be something further on down the line. It could be an upsell. Who knows what it is. But uh, number five, give with the expectation of a return. So a quick recap of Gary V's five core values of business. Stop trying to convert the customers. <laughs> Rather, take the time to find your ideal customer, intrigue them and engage them. Number two, don't hesitate with making the sale. Don't be uh, over tentative as well as not being too bushy. Number three, make valuable content online. It's not just about consuming content, it's about creating it. How do you engage those ideal clients? Number four, work harder and faster. Make sure that you, um, you're training every day to improve yourself in increments. And number five, give with the expectation of a return, irrespective of that return even if that return isn't just the closing of the sale, the conversion of the lead. All right, that's it. Let's, uh, let's take this home. Let's, uh, let's finish the loop. Yeah.